Welcome to the latest episode of my Baby Pips Forex Education video series, where I take the full School of Pipsology tutorial sections on babypips.com and make them into video tutorials so it's easier to understand and will help you become a better trader. And if you are brand new, the full playlist is down below, pin comment and inside the description. So we're in the elementary school, the last grade, grade five, talking about popular chart indicators. Where in the previous video, we talked about Bollinger Bands. And in this video, we'll be utilizing Keltner Channels, which is very similar to Bollinger Bands, but with a slight tweak. And if we go into the tutorial video, it has been made by a chap called Chester Keltner. And very similar to the Bollinger Bands, it consists of three lines. What the middle line, which is your exponential moving average and the 20 period similar to the Bollinger Bands is used. But instead of using standard deviations to do your upper and lower band, which is what Bollinger Bands do, it uses a multiple of the average true range. And what the average true range is, is the average movement over a given time period and when we go into trading view to go look at the uh, Keltner channels in more details we can look at the indicator settings and talk more about that so again when you look at it it looks very similar to Bollinger Bands it's less volatile in terms of the way it moves because of the average true rate calculations where standard deviation multiples are more volatile in nature of how the bands actually move so how can we trade Keltner channels? Well, there's kind of two things that you can do here. One is use it as an overbought, oversold, where again, where price touches or goes outside of any of the, uh, the upper or lower bands, we are looking for price to revert back to the middle band or the mean for potential opportunity. So pull back into the middle line as you can kind of see with these examples over here. The other one there is trying to use it for trading breakouts. So when we have candles that close above, looking to trim that continuation pattern there. So if we head over to trading view, we have the Euro GBP on a daily time frame. And again, for those who watch the Bollinger Band videos will know that it looks very similar to the Bollinger Band, as I mentioned before. So again, this is a free indicator on trading view. If you just start to type in Keltner channels, you see it there, which you can add to your charts. Now I've used the default setting, which is a 20 period simple moving average. We then have an ATR multiplier by two and then the ATR length, which is 10 periods. So what it does, because we're on the daily chart, it will look at the last 10 days, the average movement across those 10 days, and then plus it from the current price to get the upper band and minus it from the current price to get the lower band. And that's how we determine what those bands kind of look like. So you can see here is we have a number of ways that we can trade uh, this pair. As it talks about in the tutorial, you can see various opportunities on the high and the low end of where we are getting touches to the upper or lower Bollinger Band, and we are getting reversions back to the middle band, even this touch here to a certain extent you could do there. So that's one way to trade this. The other way is again, where you've got extreme moves outside of those channels looking to fade those moves as a contrarian play again reverting those back to the mean or the middle band and the last way you could use this is again dynamic support and resistance so here's a good example there of it going back to the mean but if you're looking to set stop losses or take profit targets or or levels this would be the kind of level or range you can see that the pair is trading at so every time it gets to the upper or lower band we are looking then to trade these opportunities so dynamic support resistance overbought oversold levels again very similar to bollinger bands for me personally i prefer to trade with bollinger bands because i think it's more reactive as i mentioned before it's it's more fluid with the current price action and um, you can see here how we can use Keltner channels and Bollinger Bands as overbought, oversold. But again, as always, use them in combination of other indicators. And again, 
check out the next video on the screen depending on where you're watching this if the next section is there the full playlist is also there as well as other trading tutorials and i should see you guys in the next video